Hello everyone, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the soil moisture sensor interfacing with the Arduino. How the moisture of the soil can be measured with the help of a sensor and Arduino. So first, let us start with the topics that I am going to discuss in this video lecture. So first one is a hardware and software requirement, which are the components required and which software you require. Then soil moisture sensor working principle, how soil moisture sensor work. Then soil moisture sensor connection with the Arduino, how it can be interfaced with the Arduino, which are the connection. Then Arduino code uh, and protease simulation and for last one, the hardware implementation video. Okay. okay, actual hardware implementation video I have also added. So first one uh, is a hardware and software requirement. So first thing you require is the Arduino Uno board. You can use any Arduino board, Arduino Nano or uh, uh, Nord MC you can also use. The uh, moisture sensor, moisture sensor consists of two parts. One is a probe and another one is a control board. Then LEDs which is used to indicate the output. Then jumper wire for connection of the LEDs and moisture sensor with the Arduino board. Then USB cable is required for uploading the program from PC or laptop to the Arduino board. Then for software, which software you require if you want to simulate your circuit. Okay, so you require the Proteus and for writing the Arduino code, you require the Arduino IDE uh, tool. Okay, now next one is the soil moisture sensor. How it works? Okay, so basically what is the function of soil moisture sensor? So, so it measures the volumetric content of the water which is present inside the soil and it gives the output based on the moisture level Okay, as an output signal. The sensor is equipped with the both analog and digital output. So it can be operated in digital mode, it can be operated in analog. But in this video lecture, I have used the analog pin for getting the moisture level. Okay. Basically, it consists of two parts. The first one is a main sensor. So this is the props, which is going to be placed inside the soil. And this is a controller board, which will be which uh, connects the this uh, sensor with the Arduino. So sensor part of the moisture sensor consists of couple of conductive props. You can see these are props, okay? That can be used to measure the volumetric control of the soil, volumetric control of the water inside the soil. Now let us discuss both these parts. So first one is a prop, okay? So this sensor consists of fork shaped props with the two conductor, and that conductor will be placed inside the soil or anywhere uh, where the water content is to be measured, okay? And the second one is a module. Now, what is the function of the module? So, sensor also contains uh, an electrical module. Now, basically, it is used to connect these props with the Arduino. Okay, module produces the output voltage according to the resistance of the prop. Okay, and it is made available at an analog output pin. Okay, uh, now, what is the working principle of the soil moisture sensor? So, this prop with the two conductor act as a variable resistor. How it act as a variable resistor? A variable resistance is nothing but the potentiometer whose resistance varies according to the water content in the soil. Okay, basically the resistance between the two conducting plates or two conductor is inversely proportional to the soil moisture. Okay, the more the water is there means what? Better is the conductivity and will result in a lower resistance. Okay, so if moisture will be very high in the if the soil is wet, okay, so it will offer very less resistance between these two conducting props. Okay, and the, if less water is there inside the uh, uh, soil, so it means what? It is a poor conductivity between those. So uh, it will give you the higher resistance value. So based on that, the sensor produces an output voltage. Okay, so output voltage of the moisture sensor is according to the resistance, which by measuring we can determine the moisture level. So this is the working principle. Okay, now this is the pin diagram of the moisture sensor. So basically it consists of two parts. These are conducting props and this is a controller board. Okay, in controller board, uh, it is a top view and from right hand side, the first pin is an analog pin. Okay, it gives the analog signal between the supply voltage to the zero value. Okay, so output of this pin will be the supply which is given to the module, which is in between 3.3 to 5 volt. Okay, uh, um, mostly the 5 volt is given to this module. Okay, and it will be connected to the analog one of the analog output pin of the Arduino okay so I have connected this pin with the A1 pin of the Arduino next one is a digital output pin so it also consists of see this, these are the different components uh, which are present in the module and those are labeled here you can see one potentiometer is there okay basically it is used to uh, control the sensitivity it is used to vary the sensitivity of the, uh, of the module and here one IC is there which is LM393 which is basically comparator. Uh, okay, comparator does what? It 
compare the two value of the voltage which are present at these props okay based on that it gives high voltage or low voltage so whenever whenever we are going to operate this sensor in the digital mode okay so then this lm393 will be used okay it gives the digital output of the internal comparator circuit okay you can connect it any of the digital pin of the arduino okay or directly output of this pin you can uh, uh, you can give to the relay or any other devices so directly you can operate the uh, any devices or relay using this output okay basically the output will be high or low okay now vcc is the next pin where we give the supply generally the supply given will be in between 3.3 volt to 5 volt and the last pin is a ground pin this pin beam is a ground pin so these are the dif uh, different pins okay of the moisture sensor now let us see the application of the soil moisture sensor okay in the first one is agriculture in agriculture you can use the moisture monitoring system okay so based on that water pump will be turn off or turn off it will measure suppose the moisture sensor is installed in the farm okay and it will measure the moisture of the uh, soil okay based on that if moisture is very less based on that water pump will be automatically turn on okay so this is one of the application then landscape irrigation in irrigation it can be used then research purpose this kind of sensor can be used if we want to measure the moisture of any uh, sand okay so the uh, in research laboratory it, it is also used and the last one is a uh, sensor swimmer sensor for the gardener suppose you want to design a smart garden system so in that uh, this kind of sensor can be installed which will control the water pump so these are the different application of soil moisture sensor now let us see the connection of soil moisture sensor with the arduino okay so here you can say arduino uno board is used okay so the, this is a moisture sensor which consists of two parts props and module okay so i have used the analog pin this output of this moisture sensor is connected with the a1 pin of the arduino then ground is ground pin is connected with the ground pin of arduino and vcc pin is connected with the 5 volt pin of the arduino okay at 13 number i have connected the led so based on the moisture level i have set one threshold value okay if threshold value is beyond the certain limit or if it's under the certain limit then based on that led will turn on and turn off okay so this is the connection of soil moisture sensor with the arduino now let us see the protease simulation so in the protease simulation you require the moisture sensor library okay if it is not there you have to copy from someone else and you have to paste in the library folder of the lab center folder which is in the c drive okay now here two components are used this is a moisture sensor which consists of three pin analog pin ground pin and vcc okay at ground we have connected the ground and analog pin we have connected the vcc but at the analog pin okay what we require we have connected two components one inductor and capacitor this is required okay for simulation purpose then and then we will get the uh, perfect output okay but in actual hardware implementation these two components are not required directly this a0 pin can be connected with the arduino analog pin okay and th 13 number you can see i have connected one led okay a test pin i have connected one variable register okay and uh, that variable register is connected with the some 5 volt supply voltage okay if we will vary the value of the variable register output of this moisture uh, output of this moisture sensor will vary and that will be displayed in this terminal box okay now why we have connected the here because in uh, a simulation we cannot measure the moisture actually so that's why these different voltage levels are applied at the test speed okay if we will vary the value of the resistance voltage level will change and according to that output a0 will change okay now first let us see the arduino code and then we will see the protease simulation so this is the arduino code for moisture sensor interfacing with the arduino okay so first one is a variable initialization is there so here at the a1 pin we have given name sensor pin 30 number pin we have collected led so led is name, uh, name given is okay now uh, i have uh, defined some threshold value and that variable is name given is a limit limit is equal to 300 okay if threshold if uh, moisture level is beyond 300 or uh, above 300 based on that led will turn on and turn off okay then another variable which is output okay now in the void setup okay serial dot begin because i want to display the data on the serial monitor okay as well as the virtual terminal okay then pin mode sensor pin that a1 pin is a input pin for the arduino and pin mode led comma output so 13 number pin is a output pin now next one is a void loop okay where we will write the main program okay so first one is a integer integer sensor value is equal to analog read in bracket sensor pin now sensor pin is what a1 number 
so it will read the value of the a1 pin okay and that value will be stored in this variable that is a sensor value now another variable is output which i have already defined output is equal to map now this function why i have used this function so first output is equal to map in bracket sensor value which we have uh, which we are getting over here that sensor value comma 1023 comma 255 comma 0 comma 100 okay basically moisture is measured in terms of percentage okay so we want to convert this moisture level which are, which we are measuring in terms of percentage now if the soil is dry then what i am getting 1023 value is getting okay and if soil is wet then i am getting 255 see this value is not fixed that depends on the uh, moisture sensor you are using okay so different moisture sensor have a different property so minimum value i am getting when the food uh, soil is wet, there is a large amount of water present in the soil, at that time I am getting 255, but it, it depends on the property of that conducting plates, okay, it may vary, so you have to measure the maximum and minimum value, okay, so this sensor value is mapped in between 0 to 100, I am getting maximum 1023 and minimum 255, so that is mapped in between 0 to 100, so this is a function, map function, then sensor dot print, analog output value, so this will give the analog output value, the next one is a serial dot print ln sensor value. So whatever whatever value I am getting over here, that will be printed on the serial monitor. Okay, now that value is converted in terms of percentage. So serial dot print in uh, quotation mark moisture in percentage, and the next line is serial dot print ln output. So output is what? Output is a output is equal to map in bracket this. So this is a value in terms of percentage. So both value I am displaying actual moisture level value and moisture in terms of percentage. The next one is if and else condition. So if sensor value is greater than limit, okay, limit is what 300. Now if the soil is dry, we will getting 1023 or maximum value. If soil is wet, we will be getting less value. So if soil is wet, we do not want water water pump to be turned on. Okay. So if so if sensor value is greater than limit, if greater than 300, that means what? Soil is already dry. So in that condition, LED or water pump should be turned on. Here I have used LED. Okay, for your understanding, so digital write in comma LED comma high. If sensor value is less than 300, so else condition will uh, program will go into the else condition. Else in bracket digital write in bracket LED comma low. That loop is completed and delay of one second is given. So this is the program. Okay, for interfacing of moisture sensor with the Arduino. Now I am uh, compiling this program. Now here you can say program is successfully compiled, done compiling, no error is there. What you have to do? You have to copy the hex path, okay? And that copy part you have to use for protease simulation. So I have copied this part, okay? Now let us move toward the protease simulation. So this is the uh, protease design suit, okay? Here you can see uh, the, this is a moisture sensor, okay? If it is not available, uh, you have to find that library of the moisture sensor and you have to paste in the library folder of the lab center, okay? Here you can see at the test pin, voltage is given 5 volt but that voltage is given with the variable register okay so if i will vary the value of the variable register test pin voltage will vary and according to that it will give the moisture output now here you can see inductor and capacitor are used okay which you can find over here every component you can find over here in big devices okay now whenever you are uh, using any library okay suppose i am using the moisture sensor library so you have to double click on that and here you have to provide the hex file path for that library okay which you have already downloaded so this is the hex file path okay that you have to add over here okay otherwise that will not run now that now here you can see uh, inductor and capacitor are used for getting the perfect output but in practice uh, in practice in actual practice it is not required and that is connected with the a1 pin okay now at 13 number pin LED is connected, okay, and here I have also used the virtual terminal to display the output, okay. Now I have already pasted the path over here which we already copied from the Arduino ID sketch, okay. Now starting the simulation, so here let us open the virtual terminal. So initially uh, you can see now at variable register at some what at mid position so you are getting the moisture output in terms of analog value is 674 and moisture percentage is 34 now okay you can see now the if the higher the value that means what soil is dry so in that condition led should be always turned on or water pump should be turned on 
Now, if I will vary the value of the variable resistor, you can see the moisture percentage, moisture in terms of percentage as well as moisture output value is also vary. You can see here. Now, you can see now uh, the analog output value is 119. So, it is less than the limit which I have defined. So, LED is turned on. That means what? This uh, value is less means that, that means what? That a high amount of moisture is present. So, water pump or LED is not turned on. Okay. So, this is how this uh, moisture sensor interfacing uh, can be done with the Arduino and this is a ProTS simulation. Okay. Now, let us see the actual hardware implementation video. Okay, now let us see how we can measure the moisture content present in the soil with the help of uh, soil sensor and module. This is a probe and this is a sensor module. And this is the Arduino board. Okay, so with uh, analog E1 pin, uh, output of the uh, soil moisture sensor is connected. Okay, now here this is a module. Okay, and this is the props. Okay, which is going to be placed in the dry soil and wet soil. Okay, now here. You can see there, these are the uh, two, uh, two soils, these are dry soil and this is the wet soil, okay. Now, if we will place the module uh, props in the dry soil, okay, now what will be the output, okay. So, for that, let us see the output in the serial monitor, okay. So, you can see now, uh, the analog output is 970 and moisture uh, percent, moisture in terms of percentage is 6 percent, okay. Now, uh, here, uh, the maximum value which you are getting is 1023 in the uh, dry soil and 250 is a minimum value that we are getting in the wet soil. And I have, you can see limit is equal to 300. Okay, so the, when analog output value is greater than 300, then LED will be always turn on. Okay, when analog output value will be less than 300, then LED will turn off because there is a enough moisture present. Okay, now, now if we place the props in the wet soil, you can see these are wet soil. If we place the props in the wet soil, okay, now you can see the LED is turned off. Why? Because the output value is less than 300. Okay, now let us see the uh, moisture percentage. So, here you can see the output of analog is 257 and moisture is 98 percent. Okay, so if we will place the props in the wet soil, we get enough moisture. Okay, the, the moisture measured is a 98%. At the same time, LED is turned off. Okay. So, this is how we can measure the uh, moisture in the soil with the help of Arduino sensor module. So, that's it for this video lecture. In this video lecture, I have discussed the moisture uh, sensor, how we can measure the moisture in the soil with the help of moisture sensor and the Arduino board. We have also uh, uh, seen the protein simulation. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.